Well, it was. That was the buzzard. Except it wasn't the buzzard. The buzzard's not here. So that was the starlings imitating the buzzard. Sounds a bit like oyster catchers or curlew. But the line on it's just starlings. Can people see? Fine. Yeah, so we've got a couple of things here. Colour, this one looks very grey, this one looks very red. Um, did someone say size? Did you say size? Yeah, so the grey squirrel um, is quite a lot bigger than the red squirrel. Sometimes it can be as much as twice as big as the red squirrel. Uh, they'll eat a lot more and they're a lot more kind of sturdy and fat. Um, it's a camera, um, but it's triggered to take images by movement, so you don't have to sit here and take photos. You strap it to a tree. And what we'll do is we'll put it opposite a feeder box and then hopefully the squirrels will come to the feeder box and we'll be able to take, and the camera will take images of them over the next couple of weeks and then we can go through those images on a computer and see, see what's there. Badger poo does vary depending on its diet, okay? That's, that's fairly dry and it's fairly clumpy, almost like a jumbo sausage. Okay, but there are areas that badgers feed on a lot more fruit and they'll eat like bramble and stuff like that, you know, the fruits on a bramble. And that makes their poo much more runny, it's almost like tar. And they generally, they'll use something called, what we call badger latrines, and they'll just operate latrine areas in given radiuses from their set where they live. And they'll go there on a regular basis and they normally make a scrape in the ground and then poo in that latrine all the time. It's a territorial thing, it marks their territory as well. And we did a, a presence or absence trap earlier on and we found um, bank voles, field voles, shrews and wood mice. So it's actually it's a really good site for small mammals. because he's trying to find a nice safe place to hide. Bye bye Froggy. Bye bye Froggy. <laughs> Thank you.
I've been camping in the woods for the tents. Then we had to set them up. First thing, nearly every one of the kids got stuck in the mud. I did. <laughs> the shoes. And then I think we got man and everything. I saw a rabbit. At least saw a rabbit. So did Ellie oh, that and Naomi. Ellie. And me. And I couldn't get asleep after a bit because Eleni told us a really scary one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Everyone stayed up late. Yeah. And we'll build the dam. Can we walk through the river? And we'll, we'll build a dam and we'll walk through the river. Paul and Naomi were here. Uh, and you in stuck in the mud. And you scream building the dam. Building the dam. I don't know. I didn't know you were this smart. Moving from the shelter. When did that happen? Have you Callum? About two o'clock this morning. Oh, was it raining? With raining? The torrential rain, yeah. We will be drying it out slightly each time.
like coffee. Oh, I would like tea. Would you like a tea or a coffee or hot chocolate is the other option? <gasps> hot chocolate! Hot chocolate! <laughs> 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 Trees, Emma. Then you're oh, oh, yeah, this is a shout before they do that one. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and start running. <laughs>